personal drones are becoming more mainstream. Due to safety concerns, commercial drones have been moving towards a safe-to-touch design. We built a safe-to-touch drone and ran a Between Subjects Wizard of Oz elicitation study to better understand how people naturally interact with safe versus unsafe drones. Participants were asked to interact with the drone any way they would like to complete 12 tasks. We found that in the safe-to-touch condition, 58% of participants used touch, and across all tasks, 39% of interactions were touch-based. We asked participants why they chose touch. I think I assumed it would respond better to touch than like voice. And showing a hand movement is kind of ambiguous, but if you have like a physical intervention with something, teach it kind of like um, what I wanted to do. 17% of participants in the control condition also used to touch. Start. Start. We asked them why they touched the drone. In the beginning, I tried to pick it up because I, I just wasn't entirely sure what the task uh, was asking for. That's in case if I start spinning it, it knows to keep going. We also found similar trends to previous studies in which people used voice and gestures. Land. Uh, no doubt. We asked them why they didn't touch the drone. Like I didn't want to touch it because I didn't want to break it. And we asked them if they felt safe. There wasn't anything the drone could have like really done to me. The meshing, I didn't worry about the drone getting too close to me really. It was some, somewhat like handling a, a cardboard box <laughs> around the edges, so it, was, um, it definitely felt very safe. Please refer to the paper for more information.